Hello guys, this is Noel 3D. Today we are going to see how you can create realistic lighting inside Blender. And specifically, we are going to use the power of night groups so that we can create this realistic scene. So, as you can see, we have uh, some kind of, you know, a project right here, which is a personal project that I have been doing recently. So I'm going to show you how I created, you know, this realistic rendering that you have seen in the preview. So the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to, you know, uh, insert the lighting, which uh, I have already done so uh to see it uh, to see it simply as you can see uh, let me show you my artificial lights as you can see we have a uh, spotlights so just uh, in your project just uh wherever there is a need of artificial lights just add uh, the artificial lights as you can see the power is 25 in my case so i have uh, a cup uh, in one place as you can see i have four right here and also i have some kind of you know chandelier right here inside those i have a uh, let me show you. I have a point light with an intensity of 10, 10 watt. So I have a bunch of, uh, you know, uh, point lights inside these chandeliers. So after this, I uh, have some kind of, you know, a uh, lamp, floor lamp right here. So I have added some kind of uh, error light. As you can see, it's a disc in the intensity is 10. And also I have another right here. And also in this dining place, uh, I have similar, uh, similar, uh, lights like this, but in this stage too, you can increase it. Uh, it. It's up to you. So after this, I'm going to show you the natural lights. So the first thing that I have done for the natural light is if I add this curtain in the window, and let me add, uh, let me also hide this. As you can see, I have, um, I have an area light all over the place, wherever there's a window. I have right one right here and one right here, and also a couple of them right here. And also I have an area light right here. After that, as you can see, I have a sun lamp. As you can see, the intensity is 10 and the, the angle is 40 so that it wouldn't be sharp. After this, I have also added an HDRA. As you can see, I have used uh, I have used, used uh, easy HDRA. So, uh, as you can see, this is the HDRA setup, which this add-on will create for you. And the intensity is 1. So, if you can see the final renders, as you can see, this is the final render. As you can see, this is exposed as it's expect, expected because we, we have been using you know, a lot of lights, right? So uh, this is not my final result, but this was what I was expecting. And the reason that, you know, we have uh, this result is because we are going to, you know, manage the light later after, uh, by using, you know, light groups. So uh, when we dive to that, mm, I'm going to go to this view layer. And if you scroll down, you can see this uh, light groups right here or as you can see, light groups. So after you have gone right here, in your case, it, this is empty. This is these are the light groups that I have created. So what you're going to do is uh, just hit plus. As you can see, you can just rename it and then hit plus again. You can just rename it. As you can see, I have created a bunch of them and rename them accordingly. So as if I click this one uh, and then if I go to this object properties, and if I go to shading a light group, as you can see, this is placed under uh, under living spotlight. So what you are going to do is, if you want to add multiple uh, multiple uh, lights inside one uh, one light group, just hold on shift and then click everything that you want. After you have done that, just for example, let's say this this uh, lights have been haven't been added. Let let me click X and then everything is selected. I'm going to click right here. This is going to uh, this living spotlight. I'm going to hold on Alt, and then I'm going to click it. When I do that, everything is going to be added at once. So after uh, you know seeing this, just add everything inside uh, the light groups that you have created. So I've already done that, and I've already rendered. As you can see, I've already rendered it. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to compositing. So I'm going to go to compositing, as you can see. And we don't have anything right, as you can see. Uh, in your case, just it's supposed to be like this. Just you know, drag this uh, right here and change. In your case, it's render result. Just type V or not, and you will find this one. You click it, and then after this, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to select this one and you know, the render layers, and then I'm going to shift D and duplicate it. In your case, if you're not seeing that, just activate this use nodes. So after this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, control shift click this one, as you can see, where we, we're going to have a, a viewer node when you do that. So this is the final render that we have seen 
right here. But now we are seeing this in our composting. So now the power of the light group is going to be visible now. So when I click Control Shift click and then again, we're going to see the alpha. And then when I click this one, I'm going to see the mist. And then the emission. Uh, and then the first one is the denoise normal. So just if I just, you know, drag this as you can see. So the first thing that I'm going to uh, drop is the sunlight. So as you can see, this is the sunlight. So as you can see, you can only preview the sunlight. So in case if you want to, you know, you know, combine this one with this, the HDR, what you are going to do is let me move this one right here. I'm going to press shift A and then I'm going to uh, create a, a, a math note. I mean, sorry, uh, a mix note, a mix color. And I'm going to plug this one right here and I'm going to change this one to add so that we are to add uh, the, uh, the two, you know, light groups. So the next one is I'm going to add the HDR as you can see when I do that. Now we have the combination of the HDR and in the sun lamp. But if you want to, you know, control the, the intensity of the HDR, you can just, you know, when I decrease it, as you can see, now we can we can control the intensity of the HDR, you know, separately without you know uh doing it in the viewport. And in case if you want to add, you know, the the the, the lamps right here, what you can do is just uh Duplicate this one, press shift D, then duplicate it. And then the naming, the naming for this one is, uh, uh, the naming is, um, yeah, floor lamp. That's the name that I have used when I'm, when I was creating the light group, as you can see, we have this one. And then also I can in decrease, you know, the intensity. If I decrease it, as you can see, the, the amount is going to be decreased. But in case if I want to, you know, uh, increase the intensity of this area lamp only what I can do is press shift A and add exposure node. As you can see, if I add an exposure node in, for example, uh, type this one to one, as you can see, we can increase the exposure. In this case, as you can see that the noise is, uh, have, have increased, but we're going to use a denoise node. And also when you are going to use light groups, just use a, a larger sample size in your render so that you don't have to deal with, you know, noise after after you're doing it in composting, as you can see, we can increase the intensity right here. And also just, I can control it right here and I can decrease it. So as you can see, by using this, we can control the lighting, you know, after after we have rendered it. We don't have to even worry about our lighting inside the viewport. And nowadays, uh, I don't even worry about any of my lights. All I do is just, I have, you know, my standard for the artificial lights, as I have shown you. I add uh, a bunch of area lights, the HDRI, and you know the sunlight. And for the artificial lights, I will place every every uh, uh, I will place every light that's necessary inside you know inside the room. So after that, just I just uh, make the intensity of uh, you know each light reasonably uh, a little bit high. After that, I will control the intensity inside my composting. That that's what I do. So after this, what we can do is we, we can also create a, a a different lighting. So let, let me select this one and press shift D and duplicate this view or not. So let's say this is my day rendering. So uh, with this one, I'm going to create a night rendering. So for my night rendering, let me start with a living spotlight. For example, if I drag this one and you know, plug it right here and let me click this one, as you can see, this is my first one. And then so I can just select this one and press shift D and duplicate it. And then let me create another, uh, I think uh, uh, the, uh, what was the name? I think this is living light, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, this chandelier, as you can see. And then the next, uh, I just, uh, I'm going to add maybe the floor light, uh, the, the floor lamp. As you can see, this one is added. And then maybe I can use the dining lights, which are over here, dining spotlights. So I'm going to just like it right here, as you can see, now we're, we're getting something bright, right? But I just want to add environment light. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to duplicate this one and plug it right here. Uh, let me, uh, yeah, do it like this. And then what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to combine the HDR. This is the HDR and plug it right here. In this case, as you can see, you're seeing the full capacity of the HDR, which is not uh, something that I want. So I'm going to decrease it. I'm just going to decrease it. As you can see, just I, I just want a little bit of light. Just just a little bit. Yep. 
uh, and also what I can do is uh, I'm going to add the shadow light I've also shadow light so just let me press shift 3 and duplicate it and then where is the shadow light you have this one and then I'm going to you know uh, plug it right here as you can see we have a shadow light so in case if you want to change the color what you can what you can do is just I'm going to select this one and press shift and duplicate it and then I'm going to plug this one to the second one and then change this one to multiply and then make the factor to one as you can see we are not seeing any change but if I change the color for example like this as you can see we're we changing the color so you can control the color of each lights even after you have finished rendering and also as I have shown you earlier we can also control the exposure like this as you can see uh, if I make it to one as you can see this one is going to be uh, more exposed and we're going to have a lot of brightness but I don't want this one to be uh, I just want to make to make it something like this or I just decrease the saturation and make it white I don't want the I don't want this to have any effect and also I can you know uh, just add a little bit of sunlight just a little bit now uh, I'm going to add the sunlight like this uh, yeah I'm going to plug it right here as you can see if I make it one this is our result but I don't want that so I can just decrease it like this ah, just a little bit and also I want to increase the intensity to this uh, channel here so what I'm going to do is, yeah this one what I can do is uh, I'm going to press shift and an exposure node and plug it right here and then I can make this to one just uh, so that I can have a little bit more brightness that's coming from you know that uh, this one the channel here and also I can increase the uh, the intensity of the the living spotlights so that's so that's uh, basically what I do so this is the night render as you can see but it's not denoised I'm going to show you how you can denoise it later but for the denoise for the for the day let me click this one as you can see this is the day so I can add you know a bunch of a bunch of a little bit artificial light so that you know we can have a little bit more interesting things for example uh, I can add this area light like this as you can see and in also let me press shift B and duplicate it maybe light up this channel just a little bit so living light where's the living light yeah this one and also you plug it like this as you can see yeah, just have a little bit of it just a little bit uh, and also what I can do is you know uh, this is the HDR right just yeah just I can make it come some kind of you know overcast feeling so as you can see you can control every bit of your lighting using using this so uh, this is this was our result right it, it was exposed but you know by using this method we have a lot of interesting lightings as you can see you can also you know combine a bunch of day and night scenes as you can see this one is the, the night and this one is the day I know also if I want I can add you know uh, the dining lights so what I can do is just add where is the dining like this one so I can add uh, maybe this one is not visible that much but this is the light as you can see it was it was it was black but I can add it I can add it like this and also add the spotlights and also this uh this strip light so what, what I'm going to do is yeah this dang spotlight so just plug it like this you can also you know, decrease the intensity if you if you don't like it that much as you can see so this is my lighting so after you have finished what you're going to do is just where you know is it so for this I'm going to press shift A and add a denoise node and I'm going to plug this one like this and then what I'm going to do is uh, you have to activate the denoising data so uh, you'll find this one also right here and just just activate this denoising data which is on the passes and also you can uh, yeah, just activate this denoising data and we are going to have this denoising normal denoising albedo so i'm going to uh, plug this denoising albedo into uh yeah this albedo and the normal to normal 
press the normal one, you know, it's normal. Yeah, I'm going to plug this one to, yeah, normal. So the one thing that I do is, which is something that I've been experimenting on is, I'm going to press add uh, a gamma node. And I'm going to just, you know, increase the gamma of the albedo imaging to maybe 1.3 or something. Just going to give me a little bit more texture. So guys, this is all for today. I hope this tutorial has been good for you guys. See you on the next tutorial.